Oh, hey, John, today we're gonna look at five trending designs that have been blowing up on social media, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We're gonna dig into some of these uh, designs and, and point out what, uh, what makes these homes truly special. First one we're gonna take a look at is uh, the Timberlake home. John, what are some of the cool features about this particular home that makes it special? I think this home's got so much stuff going on that appeals to a lot of different people. I mean, it's certainly timber style with the trusses and everything, but it appeals to people who didn't even think they wanted a timber home. I think that's what a lot of customers talk about, you know. Um, the first thing that jumps out to me is that kitchen. You've got the two islands in there, um, you know, the vaulted ceiling with those timber trusses in there. That's that's certainly an eye catcher. Yeah, I think most people um, didn't realize that maybe they could do that, that white kitchen, that classic white kitchen um, in a timber style home. I think that's what really drew a lot of people to this particular home in this, um, in this photo video slash whatever you want to call it. I, I think uh, it really brings maybe more of a, a classic look into that timber style. For sure. One thing I really like um, when you look at the kitchen itself, just that wall full of windows. I mean, you think about normal homes, how many windows do you really get in the kitchen, <laughs> you know? Right. Where this has got like almost a feature wall, letting all that natural light in, um, still giving you an awesome view from your kitchen out to that lake that they had there. Yeah, I mean, those windows look like, you know, uh, six foot wide, two six foot wide windows there. Um, and you get 12 feet of glass in that kitchen. Um, the other thing, like you, you mentioned, is those timber trusses up in the vaulted ceiling. That's one thing you can do with a single story home is vault those ceilings and put those timber accents in there. Make it unique, make it, you know, make it um, special. You know, if you had a two story home, um, you'd end up with a flat ceiling. Obviously you can do something cool with the, with the flat ceiling, maybe some, um, some rafters or some timbers in there, but um, to get those, those accents that really make it, this home pop, you, you need to have a, a vaulted ceiling and that's what you get with a, with a single story home. Right, right. Other things in there, you know, just the lighting. I think the the client did an excellent job working with a with our design team and stuff. And just, you know, they've got a lot of different light fixture or lighting features going on. Um, cabinet lighting, toe kick lighting. You see the sconces on the wall over there, just as you know, not only lighting but also decorative. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean the light. You know, talk about colors again. Um, light cabinetry, but light ceiling finish dark walnut timber trusses that make them pop. They, they really stand out. Um, and then just the all, all the contrast in the color. I mean, you can see the islands. Um, there's two different color of countertops in the islands. So again, just to give just to give that contrast, just to make it pop a little bit. There's an excellent video series of this home out where there's a full kitchen walkthrough just shows all the functionality of the cabinets and everything like that. So Anybody listening that's really interested in, in actually doing a deep dive on this particular home, I definitely encourage them to go check out the YouTube video series, uh, especially the videos, you know, the video that specialize or focuses in on the kitchen and goes through all the different functionality of the cabinets and stuff because that really, really pops that kitchen out. Definitely. There's so many different design features in cabinetry. Um, it, it needed it, its own video. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty cool video. Yeah, for sure. Moving on, yeah, the second home that I think you know, it's getting a lot of traction, a lot of comments, uh, rightfully so, is the 17,000 square foot mega mansion that's out there. Yeah, I mean, the thing that, that people don't realize is just how massive this home is. It's just, it, the, the videos and pictures just don't do it justice. We had to, to, to look into some of the sizes here. And that great room is, is 32 by 30. I mean, that's over a thousand square feet just in the great room alone. Uh, the height in that uh, in that great room wall on the back side there to the peak from the floor to the peak is 33 feet tall. That's crazy. Yeah. I think uh, those sidewalls were what 17 feet, 17 feet tall. Yep. I think uh, I, mean, I think we were kind of reviewing this. He said you could put a basketball hoop on that sidewall right. and you could literally put basketball in this great room with no problem. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, you look at all that glass and that feature wall, too. Um, what what did we come up with the other day? It was like nineteen feet by nine feet or something like that on just the bottom that that glass opening. Yeah, that bottom section is nineteen by nine. Um, if you just took the you know they took the outline of the timbers. Yep. That's nineteen by nine. The one above it is nineteen by eleven. J just think how big that that 19 is. Nineteen by eleven. Yeah. A normal yeah. bedroom, you know, traditional thought of was what twelve by 12, 13 by right. thirteen. So you've got literally the footprint 
of a bedroom and it's just glass in your great room. Right. Yeah. You know, bringing but, in all that natural light, that view you have out the backside. Um, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Um, and what I like too is the timbers in the, in the vaulted ceiling. Uh, they're kind of brought up a little bit. So this is a two story home. So they're kind of brought up in that peak a little bit. Um, because what you don't see is the loft kind of behind this picture. So we have to bring those those trusses up a little bit so you don't um, they don't intrude on uh, your headroom in their loft space. And they kind of simple. I guess I would call them kind of simplified that that beam work, that truss work up there. And you know those two verticals there kind of emulate the the framing in the glass there. If you kind of your eye kind of follows those timber trusses down, you see those two verticals into the window, into the window framing as well. Yeah, and you know looking at those trusses, um, even the the beams on the side there, they incorporate some steel elements into this, whereas opposed to the other home that we just looked at, you know, it was more of like a mortise and tenon type style joinery. This client opted to go with more of the um, industrial kind of look, I guess they would, you'd say they blended it with. You gotta be 12 by 12 beams over there. Looks the to side be. walls. Yep, hand hewn 12 by 12 beams. You know, adding some different textures is always nice. You know, like you, you mentioned the steel, um, but the stonework as well, that, that fireplace, um that fireplace wall is 13 feet wide so and like i said the the, the side walls are 17 feet tall so that's 13 by 17 feet that's again the side bigger than most people's footprint of their bedroom and just stone in that uh in that room so i think some of the comments people were were making about the tv on, on how small it may be it's not small it's just everything is so the scale of this picture is just it's just massive it's a massive home yeah yeah for sure um, again, did a full series or full walkthrough on this home as well. So if people haven't yet seen that video, I would definitely encourage them should be linked down below in the description of this video, but, uh, definitely go take a look at that one and, um, and follow along on that walkthrough. Uh, the next one is the rustic lodge. This is just a great picture. Those dust photos, um, really turn out well. Yeah. Um, I think when you were, you and I were looking at this the other day, what we come up with as far as outdoor living square footage? Yeah, that, that's the big thing about this, this particular home is there's over 1,300 square feet of decks and covered porches on that first level. And so then you double that in the covered patio, you know, in that patio below. That's another 1,300 square feet. And then about 400 square feet in that fire pit. So um, you have almost 3,000 square feet of outdoor living space that now just an extension of the home for entertaining. I mean, look at how many, there, there's, there's three dining room tables on that, yeah. on that covered porch. I can see right here. Um, it's just, it's massive. I mean, people love entertaining. Um, and that's a great way to add some space, um, is kind of extend outside of the home. And really it's a relatively, I don't want to say economical way, but as opposed to expanding the whole footprint of the home, you know, right. this is a, a nice, affordable approach to still all those summer, fall months that you're entertaining. You can still have all those people over. You don't have to build that much more square footage necessarily. Just utilize some of the outdoor stuff. Um, I think when I first look at the picture, again, you know, the lighting, the use of the lighting just really pops to me. You know, I think they did an excellent job there. Yeah. Um, and just some of the other features of this is the maintenance free features of this home, too. Um, I can see a steel roof. I can see maintenance-free decking. I can see maintenance-free railing. Um, the siding is maintenance-free. Um, windows as well. I can see vinyl windows there. Um, they truly designed this for entertaining. When they came um, to this home, they're they're there to entertain. You right. know, they didn't they didn't need to maintain it. So, and you can certainly tell they're there for entertaining when they got an outdoor fireplace and a TV mounted just above that fireplace. <laughs> right. yep. And that's a double sided chase. So they got the fireplace on the great room side of that as well. Right, pretty spectacular photo and home. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I know um, the house was really popular when the the videos came out. I think this one, there's actually two videos on if i recall one uh one during the winter just because of the way they could entertain the one one during the summer i believe so yeah yeah we did a two-part series on that one for sure yeah. yeah that was a great home so moving on to the next one the uh the lake life cabin that one that one seemed to get really popular um i mean just looking at the home itself when you look at the photos of it i think it's just that warm color scheme what are your your thoughts on it when we dig into it yeah that that's the first thing that comes to mind too it's just uh it's just a warm feeling when you look at uh, you know all the wood in, in this home. 
Um, we've got some wood flooring. The reclaimed ceiling adds a lot of texture um, and again, creates that warm feeling. Uh, the hand hewn post as we're seeing here, um, and just the, the mix of materials again, we've got wood, we've got stone. Uh, and uh, it just, the picture really j just shows well. Uh, there's, there's square posts, there's round posts, round heavy, you know, 12 inch trim framing out those windows out to the lake. Um, just shows very well. Yeah, for sure. And that ceiling, I mean, that ceiling is beautiful in that home. And I think the color scheme of how the colors tied in from that ceiling into the, the log stain just makes that whole house pop, if you ask me. Definitely. Uh, the last one we got coming up here is uh, the farmhouse log cabin. Uh, this video is currently out. Uh, it's, a, it's a great home. It's, uh, it's got a lot of uh, grays and whites uh, on the inside of the home and the exterior of the home as well. Um, it's just uh, the color scheme throughout this home um, is, is done very well. Yeah, and you can see, we mentioned before in the Timberlake home, how that customer vaulted the ceiling in the kitchen and did the timber trusses up there. And as you mentioned then, you know, if it was a two-story home, you would traditionally have that flat ceiling, could still dress it up, but obviously just different. This home shows just that, right? It's a flat ceiling, still incorporated some timber beam work in there, but um, obviously not the trusses, but still really dressed up that ceiling with those beams and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you you can see that those those timber trusses were kind of raised up again in the peak. So when you got over into the loft area, um, you didn't run into headroom issues or blocking your view with those timber trusses. Although they are awesome to see, <laughs> sometimes um, you know you don't want to block that gorgeous view that you may have. Um, yeah, a lot of beam work in here. I mean, you can see a ridge beam. You can see rafters. Um, you can see there's there's timbers on the. Um, inverted valleys. It's done very well. Uh, the timber stairs, I can see timber stairs in the back there. Um, so those stairs a lot of times are right in the main area of the home. You know, So they're, they're a work of art. As soon as you walk into that home, that front door, usually there's a set of stairs flanking either side of, of that front door. And uh, you know those timber store stairs are a great way um, just to add another focal point uh, to, that, to that main area of the home. Remind me, this one's a full Full log timber home, right? Yep, this is a, a square full log. Square full log. Um, you'll see the, in the video, uh, the garage is even full log. Um, so it's not, you know, full log is not just for the home. You can extend that into other areas of the home. And this one's got the hand hewn texture on there. Classic. I mean, that just really makes everything so much more beautiful. Yep, I can see the dovetail corners kind of through the pictures there or through the windows. And this one, like you said, we just did a, a video series on this one as well. So be sure to check that one out. So yeah, just to kind of wrap it up, these are these are five designs that uh, that have just kind of exploded on the social media uh, platforms, um, and we just wanted to do a recap and kind of point out the design features uh, that that we felt made these homes very special.